much to gain their rightful place as five years. They would author their own end. They would slay a dragon. Ivor was a member of the Order of the Stone? The stories never mentioned him. This is so crazy. There must be a reason he's never been mentioned. Maybe he was different back then. Maybe they kicked him out. This is so crazy. The Order might not be what we thought they were, but Petra is still out there. That monster is still out there. Jesse's right. We need to focus on what we came here to do. Where do these stairs go? Only one way to find out. Now this is cool. Wow. What happened to the walls? More like what happened to this whole place. This must have been where they met. So where are they then? Gabriel said that once we find the temple, the angel would lead us to the order of the stone. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out then. Is something supposed to happen? Well, that was a letdown. There's got to be something we're missing. Look around and see if you can find anything. surface or maybe it doesn't work when they're in the nether we have to go off what we do know petra's relying on us that wither storm is still out there we know that gabriel was trying to tell us something we've got to find the order of the stone but there are only two whites there are only two members of the order left he said soren was missing that leaves magnus or eligard Let's head out. I'm not going with you guys. I have to stay here. If I know Petra, she's probably doing everything she can to find this place. But just stay safe, okay? If there's even a small chance she's alive, I have to stay. Go. Get help. I'm going to focus on making this place safe before nightfall. This temple is pretty big, though. If we're going to have a chance at fortifying it, I'm going to need some help. If, uh... Maybe one of you guys can hang back with me? Sounds like Olivia will have you totally covered while me and Jesse are out finding Magnus. Finding Magnus? You really think that's how it's going to go? We need Eligard. She's the world's greatest engineer. She'll figure out a way to stop that thing. We're trying to destroy it. And when it comes to destruction, Magnus is the master. You're a smart person, Jesse. I'm... Olivia, you and I are going to Eligard. So you stay here with Lucas and get the place ready for when Petra shows up. What, with that guy? I'm right here. Come on, Axel. For Petra's sake. Fine, I'll do it. For Petra. I'll take it. Uh, guys? Hurry.
heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalries. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? This is impressive. Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're going to get to Eligard, get her to help us, we're going to save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh, Jesse! Inventors are all incredible. I might know Redstone where we come from, but these people are the real deal, Jesse. I mean, I don't even know how they're making some of these things. That's rare for me. Even if you're intimidated, maybe you could talk to them. They could teach you some cool stuff about what they know. Yeah, maybe. Builders of Redstonia, Jesse, I want you to know there how much is. I value and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. Jesse, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. So, 
oligarchs trying to make a command block in there? I don't know, Jesse. That sounds pretty risky. You saw what happened when Ivor tried to control a command block. Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. I have a message from Gabriel, okay? Eligard's old friend. I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Guess we'll need to get another repeater. We need three stone, two redstone torches, and one pile of redstone dust to make one. Right. Here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? Actually, I was wondering, can you spare a repeater? Oh, sorry, friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. Ah. I'm actually going to keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cows. <laughs> Just stay away from that little, uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. You must be here to see my incredible auto farmer. Why waste time planting sugarcane when it could be planting itself? You got a repeater? Sorry, already used all mine. I got some redstone torches, though. Here, take these as a token of my gratitude. That's some primo crafting material right there. Awesome, thanks. Oh, man, stone. Jackpot. friend of yours. What's he been telling you about me, huh? Is this idea yours, like, 100%? Because he kind of says that you steal your ideas. All of them. That no good, dirty, ugh, disco freak! I've got a bone to pick with you! Steal all my ideas, huh? That's what you're telling people. Guess I just call him like I see him. Ooh, you are just... Ugh. Well, you know what I call that? A bunch of cow torture. Boy, what a cutting insult. Who'd you steal that one from? Oh, it's good. Oh. Oh. Okay, I can do this. Redstone repeater, redstone repeater, redstone repeater. Done. Pretty nice, if I may compliment myself. Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Bam! Door open. Switch is on. Okay, good, good. Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. I 
just hope she can actually help us. That might be the most redstone stuff I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man, look at all this, huh? Try not to touch anything until we know what it does, okay? Uh, I wasn't going to touch anything. I was just going to look really carefully. Come on, let's keep moving. Seems like this place has really blown you away. You're not kidding. This is like everything I've ever dreamed of. Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Whoa! Hi! Hey! Didn't see you sneaking up on me. Guess that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly adorable pig, that is. <laughs> Eligard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you. Goggle girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. Wow. Now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Olivia? O Olivia, can you hear me? I don't think that I've ever fainted before. Oh, so embarrassing. Everything working over... Oh. Hmm. Fine, I I'll just do it myself then. Another bust. Now, about you three, uh, your friend here, does she fall over frequently? Is this going to be a regular occurrence? I, no, I'm sorry. I was just so excited to, and with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts, I could have tripped over you and conked my brain. Eligard, we've actually got much bigger problems to deal with. We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm, and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who who sent you? Gabriel sent me. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block capable of altering reality itself. I've seen one of those before. It's a command block. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? We've seen one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. Ugh, sorry to bust your circuits, but the Order isn't really together anymore. We, uh, sort of disassembled. That's actually kind of why we're here. Gabriel's amulet. Yes, he gave it to me so that I could find the Order. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe... Will you help me make one? It's going to work this time. I can feel... You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic.
alert. Good. This is so exciting. <laughs> Terribly exciting. Has it gotten this far before? No, never. Is it destabilizing? Just a little farther. Well, wow, that's certainly impressive. Wow. Yeah. Whoa! Who goes there? Oh, Jesse? Is that you? Lucas, did you build all of this? Well, yeah. I, I figured I would try and fortify the place, you know? <laughs> nice! Come on, you guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone. Petra! Hey guys, how's it going? I'm so glad you're okay, Petra. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it myself. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. Back there in Gabriel's bunker, it got pretty... It's such a relief to see you. I'm glad you're okay. You pulled me out of that Witherstorm's crutches, and I ran and ran and ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me, well, I owe you everything, Jesse. Wow. Did Gabriel get away, too? Did you see? It's all a blur, but the Witherstorm left almost nothing behind. Everything. Everyone. Was just gone. It even got Gabriel. I wouldn't believe that anything could defeat Gabriel if I hadn't seen it for myself. This is terrible. Boy, can't remember the last time I saw this place. Would someone care to explain what he is doing here? Call this a hunch, but do you two not like each other? Right. I forgot to mention. Axel went on a little adventure of his own while you were gone an adventure to get him did you know about this look just wait here a second while i figure out what's going on much appreciated so who are you then and why'd you bring the queen of the nerds with you that's jesse my best friend trust me yeah, and you two are going to have to get along okay we didn't even know you were going to be here. That makes two of us then. But reversed. For me. I got tired of waiting around, so I decided to go recruit Magnus myself. It was kind of a crazy adventure, but it all worked out in the end. And now, I'm the king of Boomtown. Boomtown? That's the name of Magnus's kingdom. I had to beat him in a crazy tournament, and... Long story, you had to be there. Short version, epic battle of explosions and mayhem, death-defying action, shenanigans, and pyrotechnics. Bada-bing, bada-boom! Your friend here is kind of supreme ruler of my kingdom now, you know what I mean? Well, this is unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean. But I'm definitely sure that I don't like it. Yeah, show him some respect. Oh, you're sticking up for Magnus. That's very sweet. Yeah, he's sticking up for me. 
It's because I'm really awesome and super cool. I'll never understand your fame. Axel, not your fight. Stay out of it. But your friend has a point. I can fight my own battles. Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. It was terrifying. It came out of nowhere and just destroyed everything. A little too scary for you, Ellie? Couldn't just think it away? You weren't there, Magnus. I'm telling you, this thing was like nothing I've ever seen. Why? Because it's never come inside one of your little workshops. Would you two stop fighting? Whoa! Yikes. Jesse's right. We need to find some way to stop that thing. Well, I don't know if you've had the chance to poke around this old dump yet, but it's pretty much stripped bare. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. Can we start crafting some, then? I don't think we got that kind of time. If only Soren were here, he might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie, not this again. There's something stronger than TNT? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. The Formidabomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-bomb before. Well, the Formidabomb sounds perfect. We should go get it now. Well, there's a little problem there. We don't know where Soren is. But you found us. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the nether or the end. But it's worth a shot. I bet we can find him. I'm very curious to see it. I've never actually seen it work before. Your light, my light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Then let's stop hanging around here and go get us some super TNT. <laughs> going to Soren's. We need to move. It's not too far. We could probably make it on foot. Righteous. We'll get some rest and head out first thing in the morning, avoiding all the nighttime and monsters and everything. If you had seen that monster, you wouldn't be saying that. We need to leave now. Yeah, I don't want the weather storm catching up with us. We should go now. Let's get moving. Yo, we haven't really gotten a chance to chat yet. Oh, hello. I heard you saved your friend back there from this Witherstorm thing. You're pretty tough, huh? I'm just doing my best to keep everyone safe. Humility. Nice. I can dig it. What's the deal with your buddy Axel? Can't tell if he's awesome or a little bit of a dork. He's just a little, uh... Doofy, you know? He's like a little... Axel's one of my best friends. He makes me laugh, and he always sticks up for his friends. Interesting. Very interesting. Then why didn't you listen to his plan to come get me? I figured that we needed brains to fight the Witherstorm. And brains means Eligard. Yeah, I've definitely heard that a lot. <laughs> I'll try not to let it hurt my feelings too much. Well, just keep on your toes. Guys? I told you it was going to catch up with us. Oh, my. You really weren't kidding. No. Not again. 
again. We can hash all that out later. Come on, we gotta get out of here! Not again. Not again. Soren's isn't much farther. We can make it. Everything in the universe starts out as just a block. What comes of those blocks is up to those who wield them. Our friends have traveled far and wide in search of the Order of the Stone and a way to stop the Wither Storm for good. But even well-laid plans can go awry. The threat to this world, to its very existence, is far from over. Come on! We gotta 
build a new one, like right now. Come on, faster! You feeling any better? Better is relative. If I just sit here and don't move or breathe, it's almost bearable. Man, if it wasn't for Ivor, she wouldn't even be like this. Ah, uh, no kidding. That's not exactly true. Ivor built the wither, sure, but he couldn't have done it without that skull I gave him. If I'd just taken a second to think about it, all I cared about was getting that stupid diamond. This isn't your fault, it's Ivor's. Who wouldn't do something stupid for a diamond? But without my help, Ivor wouldn't have... He wouldn't have wanted revenge on Gabriel? Believe me, he would have found another way. Still, I'm gonna do everything I can to make this right. Petra, I know this isn't easy to hear, but you're too sick to be going anywhere. I'm not that sick. Maybe you should rest in this cave for a while. I mean, it's safe, defensible. If I say I'm fine, then I'm... <coughs> Fine. You staying here is the right move. You'll never get better if we keep pushing you. But I want to be there for you guys. I know you do, and you will. Maybe you're right. It's the right call, Jesse. I hope so. We didn't all make it back, though. Guys, it was my fault. I'm the one who took Eligard's armor. But you couldn't have known what was going to happen. She's right. Don't blame yourself, kid. I, uh, never blame myself for anything. Ah! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! What I want to know is, what happened out there today? Why is that thing still alive? The Formidabond just wasn't strong enough. I mean, it ripped the Witherstorm apart, but it didn't make a dent in the command block. So the command block is still out there? Oh, great! Look, our plan didn't work, so we obviously need a new one. The question is, what do we do? Well, why are you asking me? Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? <sighs> I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? <laughs> you have no idea. That jacket, I recognize it. Lucas always wears that jacket. No. There were other people wearing that very same jacket when I was thrown from the monster. Ugh. It hurt 
hurts just to think about. Hey, hey, it's okay. Jesse, if what Gabriel said is true, I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but if they were just trapped in the wither storm. Look, even if your friends are out there somewhere, there's nothing you can do for them. What? No, if they're alive, I have to go after them. They might need me, Jesse. You can't just up and leave, Lucas. You're part of our team. And you saying that just reminds me that I left my team. But Lucas, look, you and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. I can't believe I'm saying this, but if your heart's telling you to go, then you gotta go. Otherwise, you'd be heartless or something. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. I'll find them. And then I'll find you again, too. I promise. Thanks. There are three of those things now. You say that like it's my fault. It is your fault. I'll take responsibility for once, Soren. Soren, you need to listen to Hush, me. Ivor, for once. I told you. Huh. I wouldn't have followed you here without good reason. What you don't understand is you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> Obviously. No, I mean specifically this group. The Witherstorm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. I have the amulet, Ivor. I have all along. Uh, Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse. I... I didn't know. And it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things. Nothing even hurts them. Well, except Enderman. We actually just saw a bunch of Endermen pull blocks off a Witherstorm. So? Enough of them working together might be able to destroy a wither storm entirely. Question is, how to bring the storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. At least, not for mere mortal. We know for a fact the wither storm will follow the amulet. So if we take the amulet back to your fortress where the Endermen are... We'll lead them straight into a massive trap. Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block. Oh, yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a bomb. Yes, well, I created a failsafe. What kind of failsafe exactly? An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon, and you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever. Yes. Yes, that's it. Ivor, it is you. Good to see you too, Magnus. It just keeps coming for us. Guys, there's a reason it's been following us. Ivor says it's because of the amulet that Gabriel... The point is we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. I'll take it. I'll keep the Witherstorms busy. You guys do what you gotta do. Axel, thank you. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's Fortress. 
Well, Axel shouldn't have to do this alone. I'm coming with you, man. Nice. Well, I'm going with Jesse. I, I pledge to help, and that's what I must do. Everyone, take good care of yourselves. Hey, Jesse. Let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The warrior's whip? You got it. <laughs> I'll see you at Soren's, all right? Not if I see you first. forever i am telling you we cannot go to the far lands they're not just the edge of our world but the limits of our comprehension oh please the far lands are a happy accident nature's way of keeping life interesting no 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 they are perilous and unpredictable hold on back up what exactly are the far lands are you being serious the far lands lie at the very edge of all things, where logic gives way to chaos. They're a dangerous place to visit, and a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? I don't know. I'm too hungry to care. No kidding. I'm starving. Maybe we should turn back? This isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. Guys, we can't turn back now, not after coming so far. Fine, but I'm taking a break. So am I. We mustn't linger long. The Far Lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? I'll be back. of leap. 
flipping cool. An entire cake. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ow. Ivor. Ivor. Jesse, we need assistance. Wait, where is Ivor? I thought he was with you. I don't know. He disappeared outside the witch's hut. Curse that fool of a man. Come on! Guys, I think we lost them for... Wow! You lost them for wow? What is that? <gasps> oh, wow. It's like we're at the edge of the world. Actually, we seem to be at the corner of it. Welcome to the Far Lands, my friend. I'm glad Jesse snagged this cake. Makes the whole wall of insanity thing a lot easier to face. Say what you like about witches. They sure know how to make a cake. Hmm. Quite a sight, isn't it? Soren, have you been here before? Not here specifically, but I have visited the Far Lands. The Order traveled far and wide during our heyday. How can Ivor live here? I mean... It's one thing to build a wool world inside the end, but this... Oh, I doubt he lives here. He most likely comes here only for his most secretive research. Whatever Ivor's hiding in here, it will be extremely well guarded. This way, I suspect. I'd feel better about this if the rest of our group was with us. Come on! So, a massive one from the looks of it. If Ivor used the command block to build this, it could hold unspeakable peril. Why do I sense that entering this so-called maze would be a grave mistake? Because some part of you still knows Ivor. Fortunately, this seems to be the only way forward. There has to be another way. A secret door, or I don't know. Followed Ivor to the far lands, we might as well keep going. Here we go. Into another dungeon of doom. Whoa. A stone waterfall? That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. The Far Lands may be perilous, but they are indisputably fascinating. We should probably keep moving. Guys, looks like this is a... There's too many! We can't bite them all! Everyone, back! Who needs to climb when you have a potion of leaping? Guys, caught the vines! Well, that worked, I suppose. Yeah, I guess. But now what do we do? We're all separated. 
Let's just head that way and find a place where the pads connect. Sure hope they don't get lost in there. I hope I don't get lost in there. Ivor's lab. Wish it was a little closer. Just gotta find a way across this gaping bottomless pit. What about this thing? Could it get us across? It's some kind of flying barge. It would probably get us to the other side. But it's in really bad shape. And it's really complicated. You can fix it though, right? I don't know. I think it's out of my league. Come on, you'll figure it out. You know you always do. This layout doesn't even make any sense. What was Ivor thinking? Or maybe it's just me. I mean, Eligard herself said I don't have what it takes to be a great engineer. So prove her wrong. Show the world what you're made of. Prove her wrong? Jesse, she was the greatest redstone engineer ever. She was in the Order of the Stone. Sure, but the Order are still people, just like us. Right. Just like us. I mean, how are we the ones saving the world when even they don't have what it takes? Soren and Ivor are always at each other's throats. All I ever see Magnus do is argue, and we both know what happened to Eligard. If the Order can't do this, how are we supposed to? All I know is the world is depending on us. Then maybe the world is in trouble. I mean, they defeated an Ender Dragon. Can you name even one thing we've done right? And I don't mean managing to stay alive. Something that actually met. Well, for starters, we're the ones who brought them back together again. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Wait a second. I think I see what he was trying to do. Jesse, take this piston, craft it into a sticky piston, then place it on the other side of the barge, along with a redstone block. You got all that? I think so. supposed to go and place these pistons. Holy cow, we did it! I'm proud of you, Olivia. Thanks, Jesse. And thanks for everything you said just before. It really helped. No problem. <laughs> It must be 
must be this way. Run! Everybody get on. Quick, onto the barge. That was close. Everyone okay? For the moment. I remember something. Didn't Eligard build a machine like this once? Yes, in the nether. <clears throat> And you were terrified of flying on it. What? Stuff and nonsense. <laughs> no, no, I'm positive. Soren, is that true? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose I might be mistaken. Mm, I liked you better when you had amnesia. Exciting? Uh, by exciting, I assume you mean absurd and unnecessary. Let's go see what he's hiding in there. in a house that nobody ever visits. More like, why wouldn't you? Secret passageways are cool. Good point. of the Order of the Stone. Oh, the stories I could tell about these dusty old things. You know, I often give Ivor a hard time, but for all his complaining, his time with the Order clearly meant a great deal to him. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, let's go get that enchanting book. the stars, the Ender Dragon, with replica Ender Crystals and all. Wow, I always wondered what it looked like. Hmm, no way out. It's obviously some kind of puzzle. Soren, what's this thing supposed to be? It appears to be an homage to our battle with the Ender Dragon. Despite his anger, Ivor never stopped being fond of us. <laughs> and these are supposed to be the Ender Crystals? Scale models of them. They were the secret to the dragon's demise. The secret, huh? Ah, <sighs> if only you'd been there. It was a fight for the ages. 
We'd spent weeks preparing for our greatest battle ever. But even so, the Ender Dragon was stronger than even I had imagined. I realized that it was drawing strength from the Ender Crystals, and that the crystals had to be destroyed. I hit the first with a perfectly placed arrow. The second I destroyed by launching myself on the shockwave of Magnus's TNT. Using only my strength and my wiles, I steered the foul beast toward the third crystal. I flew the dragon directly toward the final crystal. Only then did Gabriel deliver his famous final blow. became heroes, and eventually, legends. The greatest the world has ever known. It was absolutely amazing. They didn't call us the Order of the Stone for nothing. I wonder if that story will help me solve this puzzle. Bow and arrow, great weapons. Destroying these crystals was the key to defeating the Ender Dragon. You did kill the Ender Dragon, right? Jesse, this isn't this isn't what it looks like. Our story, uh, the story, it's it's mostly true. I swear, I swear it. Soren, I want the truth and I want it now. I, I can't. We swore never to speak of it. I don't care. Uh, I'm afraid I haven't been honest with you, Jesse. We did defeat the Ender Dragon, but it it wasn't exactly like I said. How not exactly? We got rid of it, but we didn't kill it, per se. So what did you do to it? We didn't do anything. We used the command block. You used the command block to defeat the Ender Dragon? understand when I found that blasted block we were nobodies but with its help we became stronger faster we could do so much more the others had no idea what I was doing yet the more I used it the more we came to depend on it I knew it was only so long before someone would find out a plan. I would use the command block to blink the Ender Dragon out of existence. <laughs> Securing our status as legends forever. We told the world 
we defeated the dragon. And the rest... Why would you do that? You, you lied, even to your closest friends. All I can say is... I was a fool. So you finally admit it. Soren, how could you? Ivor. How long have you guys been standing there? Long enough that they heard the whole thing. So we're liars. All of us. You didn't think you could keep it secret forever, did you, Soren? Is this why you left the Order? Because Soren lied? Because they all did. Soren, Gabriel, Magnus, Eligard. They agreed to keep this a secret. And you, you agreed to stay quiet too, in exchange for all of our treasures. <gasps> I've technically never told anybody. So this whole thing, the wither you unleashed, it's all been to teach the Order a lesson? To teach the world a lesson. To show you who the Order really are. Liars, cowards. And now, they know. Yes. Ivor, you're a madman. In all your scheming to expose the Order, you've nearly destroyed the known world. Look, my wither plan obviously backfired. You think? I didn't know we'd end up with three of those things tearing the world apart. Which brings us back to why we're here. We need to destroy that command block. Like now. Jesse's right. Destroying the command block is all that matters anymore. How ironic that the best thing the command block gave us was the very means to destroy it. So the enchanting book, what do we do with it? You craft a weapon, then put it on an anvil. Follow me. I'll show you. Ivor, I'm sorry. About everything. Yes, well, it doesn't matter now. Grab some ingredients and craft a weapon. I'll show you how to enchant it. Sweet. Let's see. There's a bunch of crafting stuff and... Diamond score! Just wait till you enchant it. Behold, my enchanted diamond pickaxe. What? 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 Yes, that should do the job nicely. But if you're fighting those wither monsters head on, you'll want better armor too. I enchanted these for the order. They're about as strong as it comes. Even able to withstand TNT. Any preference? Well, I kind of want to keep the armor I'm already wearing. Really? I mean, Eligar died so I could have it, you know? Come to think of it, she would have liked that. Very well. Nice weapon, Jesse. Thanks. But at least take some for your friends. Sounds good to me. Fortress and see how the wither storms are doing against those Endermen. Oh, my poor fortress. I see Endermen, so this means the plan's working, right? Shouldn't the Endermen have dismantled those things by now? Or am I just confused? It's not just you. Something's wrong. Jesse, over here. Axel! You guys made it. Nice freaking armor, by the way. Do you still have the amulet? Safe and sound. That's not the problem. Then what is? The Endermen. They're not angry enough. I mean, some of them are, but a lot of them are just standing around moving blocks. You know, being Endermen. Ugh! 
blast. They've kept the main weather storm busy, but one of the smaller ones started attacking us. And Magnus ran off to fight that thing all by himself. He's fighting a wither storm? Alone? Yeah, kept saying something about paying for the mistakes of the past, whatever that means. If a fellow member of the Order of the... Of the, uh... Order of the Stone? Is out there fighting, then I belong out there, too. Gabriel, no, no, I told you you're not who you think you are. My name is Gabriel the Warrior. And he's running the wrong way. <sighs> Without the command block, none of them stands a chance. Say what now? I'll explain later. Fine. Hey, uh, you guys didn't check on Petra, did you? No, we came straight here. All alone in that cave? I hope she's all right. She will be as long as we destroy the command block. So what's the plan? I mean, I know we gotta go in there, but... We confront the Witherstorm and fight it to the death. Yeah. You do mean it's death, right? Axel, just put on your helmet. What helmet? Here. Nice. I was feeling a little left out. Guys, let's go kick some command block butt. Uh -huh. see the command block? I don't think it's exposed. We need to get more Endermen focused on the Wither Storm. How do you make Endermen focus? I can't even make myself focus. We, we shouldn't be here. None of this is going according to plan. Soren, what are you doing? I, uh, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed meeting you all, but... Jesse, you can handle things out here, right? What? I can't let him get himself killed. Just get to the command block and destroy it. Soren! So much for the mighty order of the stone. It doesn't matter. We have work to do. We need to get those Endermen to attack it. The tractor beam! Jesse, that's it! Make them chase you into the tractor beam. Stone from Ivor's armor. I have some TNT from Boomtown. I've got pistons, repeaters, some wool, some leftover slime. Oh, and I still have that minecart. That's got to be enough to make something, right? I mean, if we use the TNT on, say, the minecart. Guys, check it out. We build a cobblestone ramp, lay down some track, attach the TNT to the minecart, and launch it off the ramp like a rocket. <laughs> Heck yeah! I love that idea. So what are we waiting for? Let's hurry up and... Oh, look out! Yeah. Ah! Axel! Ugh. Whoa! Yeah. I can't hold on! I got you! 
Lucas! You're here! Ocelots, distract that wither storm. Hey, you! Get a load of this! Lucas, thank you. Anything for a friend. Now let's hurry up and build this thing. <clears throat> finished. Quick, climb on! And Jesse, I know you can do this. We all do. Thanks, guys. It means a lot. Now go demolish that command block. destroy that command block. Once and for Ruben! Hold on! 